when we make a device, this uh, portable stem player that we design with Teenage Engineering uh, for this album mm -hmm. and albums moving forward is to spread the gospel. In that clip, we saw part of Kanye West's response to Zane Lowe questioning, quote, how proprietary can you be in an environment where you serve the Lord? During an interview that was part of his October 2019 rollout of Jesus is King. To sum up his lengthy response, West justified being proprietary and monetizing his creativity by explaining that the monetary gains of Jesus is King and Sunday service would be dedicated towards God as a form of tithe. He listed songs, a portable stem player, and his Wyoming ranch as examples of how he's, quote, spreading the gospel. Rather than dissecting West's ideology, I'm more so interested in the portable stem player that he mentioned. Under his company's Yeezy and Donda, Wes has promised many products that have yet to come to fruition, but this portable stem player first mentioned in the clip shown has come to fruition. The device was first publicly used in rare instances at Sunday service events, but it is about to hit online shelves, seeing as it has been preloaded onto Yeezy's website. Essentially, the Yeezy stem player is a handheld mixing device and stem player that allows for users to remix finished songs in real time. To clarify what a stem is, it is an audio channel within a song, whether that be the drums, instrumental, bass, or vocals. Before getting into more of the product itself and its implications, I want to show another clip, this time from the Yeezus tour, to provide insight on the stem player's background. <laughs> At each stop at the Yeezus tour, Wes put on the same act of reconstructing Runaway's instrumental using an Akai MPC, which is a music production workstation used for producing, and then performing over it. The audience's reaction to Wes tapping those pads is electrifying. Although this instance was years ago, it still reflects that Wes knew there was an appeal for live producing and hip-hop shows. Using an MPC or similar workstations to accomplish this task has its limitations though, because the performer must be stationary, manually construct the beat themselves, and have the technical ability to recreate instrumentals without error. While Wes is capable himself of all of these, many artists do not even produce themselves. The Yeezy stem player both streamlines the process and gets rid of all these limitations by providing portability and directly sourcing stems from a finished song. Wes himself has acknowledged these limitations as the reason behind the stem player's creation, because after using it during a Sunday service that took place at the Forum in October 2019, Wes told the crowd that, quote, this is something right here that I wanted to make since Yeezus. It's a portable stem player. We've got it coming out and you can control the music. Since we can now understand Wes's motivation for creating the stem player, we can now look into how Swedish electronics producer Teenage Engineering, who Wes mentioned in the clip that opened the video, brought it to life. While the stem player was a product of Wes's mind, Yeezy was forced to find the right company to outsource the product's hardware, seeing as they specialize in clothing rather than electronics or music equipment. To explain why Wes gravitated toward Teenage Engineering, I want to focus on their design language and pocket operator product line. While first known as a musician, Wes has emerged as just as important of a designer, and Teenage Engineering's design language is aesthetically sound enough to fit the needs of Wes. Their product designs are minimalistic, fun, and functional. To compare them to popular brands, their designs often in line with that of Nintendo and Ikea, with them having collaborated with the latter. Proceeding to their pocket operator line, they are handheld music production devices, with there being different variants that each have different sound sets and capabilities. While the functionality of pocket operators are intriguing, what matters to us most is that they can do so much yet still be portable. Seeing that they are capable of developing aesthetically and functionally sound products that are portable, it is clear why Yeezy approached Teenage Engineering as a partner. The Yeezy stem player has been in development for years, but those interested in music production were generally the only ones who realized its potential or cared about it until earlier this year when West Circle began to tease them on social media. While his circle has been constantly posting about it since March, the most important of these was a post by Don C of the stem player and an instructional guide. While the name stem player indicates that the device would only be able to change the volume of and isolate stems, this instructional guide reveals it has a wider range of capabilities. The shown tape, filter, delay, distortion, stutter, and loop effects were all revealed through the post. Honestly, before Don C uploaded this, I was hesitant on the need for a stem player, as there are already existing apps that can change the volume of and isolate stems. Funnily enough, Mike Dean, who is West's lead engineer, mixed graduation using one in 2008. Would you like me to mix a little? Yeah. Let me turn the vocals on here. Oh shit! Back to Don C's post, beyond it revealing the value of the stem player, it also skyrocketed the hype for the stem player itself. The official packaging and branding suggests that rather than being one of the prototypes that had been seen in the past, it had been manufactured, which indicated that it would be a consumer product rather than something only for West's use. With the rollout for West's 10th studio album Donda coinciding with the growing anticipation for the Yeezy stem player, fans theorized that the player and the album would concurrently release. During album rollouts, Reddit and Discord groups often inspect the source code of artists' websites in hopes of finding anything related to an album. As referenced 
earlier, a Reddit user found a link in KanyeWest.com source code that added the Yeezy stem player to customers' carts for $200 when clicked. The fact that the stem player is loaded into West eShop, having promotional photos, and a price tag confirmed that it was ready for release. To close up the video, I want to explain my final take on the Yeezy stem player's importance by citing another Zane Lowe interview. Let's take a look at that. If you're a Kanye West fan, you're not a fan of me, you're a fan of yourself. West's goal has always been to empower individuals through his own work. The Yeezy stem player is yet another way to accomplish this mission because it makes live performances and individual listening about the audience rather than the performer. In a live setting, a performer will be reactive to the audience by remixing a song in real time to feed off an audience's energy. In an individual setting, someone with the Yeezy stem player could alter a song's mix depending on what they want to feel when listening. Whether that be by bringing out Lil Baby's vocals out of the mix on Hurricane or by focusing on the piano and heard him say, the Yeezy stem player allows for a fan of Kanye West to be a fan of themselves.